for a person no longer needs treatment fitted to survive, but also look rigid. Cosmetic surgery is the way for those who are unhappy with their genes. Eating an emotion of nature has become a common practice for men and women around the world to get a second chance to be beautiful. But where are the limits? And how far are we willing to go in order to satisfy our inner desires by altering the image we reflect to the world? It's not medical, you understand? That's psychological. And tonight we are welcoming Dr. Simpson. He's been the chief of plastic surgery at St. John's Hospital for almost two decades. And he runs a private clinic here in London too. Dr. Simpson's here tonight to talk about beauty and psyche. My pleasure. Thanks for inviting me in. When people look in the mirror, they might not be as happy as they wished with their image. People want beauty and perfection, and they don't care how. Cosmetic surgery has nothing to do with vanity or superficial notions of beauty. Is that what you're talking about? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Realignment is based on a deep psychological need. And as doctors, we're here to help. Our door is always open. You won't forget? No, that's fine. 7.30. I'll remember. And I'll bring the wine. Sophie, you're aware of asomatognosia? No. What some people call BIID. It's a neurological disorder, usually seen after a cerebral infarction. However, in your case, the imbalance between brain synapses and body image has created a state of mind... No, no, no. You're saying I'm crazy. This thing, it's just so wrong. It, it shouldn't be there. It, it has not belong to me. In your mind, I know. But amputation? I'm sorry. It's impossible. I can't do it. Really? Sure. Wanna play games? Calm down. Be careful. Dr. Simpson? Mm-hmm. 
The police have called. Is your wife? I'm sorry. Are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. If you'll excuse me. What, what's happening? No, no, wait. I, I'm so calm, calm, calm down, down darling. I'm okay. over soon. Shh. Good girl.